Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Nim. Today, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba tayo nagmumultiply ng fractions at mixed fractions. Alright, let's begin! Sa pagmumultiply natin ng fraction, alamin muna natin na saan ba dyan ang numerator at denominator. Katulad dun sa mga ginawa ko ng previous lessons about fraction, ang numerator ay ang nasa ibabaw ng fraction bar. At ang denominator naman ay ang nasa ilalim. First step in multiplying fraction is to multiply the numerators. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And multiply the denominators 2 times 3. And that is equal to 6. So the answer is 1 sixth. Madali lang, di ba? Sa case na to, naka-simplify na ang answer natin. Wala na silang common factor. Yung numerator natin at denominator natin ay wala ng common factor maliban sa 1. Okay? Kaya, iyan na ang ating final answer. Let's have another. Okay, what about this one? 2 fourths times 1 fifth. I-multiply lang natin yung dalawang numerator. We have 2 times 1 is equal to 2. And 4 times 5 is equal to 20. The answer is 2 twentieths or 2 over 20. Kapag ganito ang sagot natin na meron pa silang common factor, yung 2 and 20, ano ba ang greatest common factor nila? 2. Okay? I-divide natin sila parehas by 2. Yung 2 and 20. Para makuha natin yung lowest terms. Okay? 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. And 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. So, the final answer is 1 tenth. Okay, let's have example number 3. Let's have 3 fourths times 1 third. Again, i-multiply lang natin yung dalawang numerators. We have 3 times 1 is equal to 3 and 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Now, yung 3 and 12 ba ay may common factor? Yes, the greatest common factor of 3 and 12 is 3. Kapag ganyan, uh, tignan ninyo kung yung numerator ba ay factor nung denominator. In that case, pwede nyo na siyang idirekta na i-divide nyo parehas by the numerator. Okay? So, divide both by 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1 and 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So, the final answer is 1 fourth. Alright, let's proceed to the next example. I have here 2 and 1 half times 1 third. Kung mapapansin ninyo, itong 2 and 1 half na yan, yan ay mixed number na. Okay? Teacher, paano po ang gagawin namin kapag po mayroon ganyan? So, ganito. Kapag nakakita kayo ng mayroong mixed number na ganyan, i-change nyo muna siya to improper fraction. Teacher, paano po ba i-change ang mixed number to improper fraction? O, ganito. To change mixed number to improper fraction, i-multiply nyo lang yung denominator by the whole number. 2 times 2 at saka nyo i-add yung numerator. 2 times 2 is equal to 4 plus 1. And that is equal to 5. So, yung sagot nyo, yun yung gagawin nyo, numerator, and then just copy the denominator. Alright? Again, to change the mix number to improper fraction, i-multiply nyo lang yung denominator by the whole number and add the numerator dun sa product na nakuha nyo. 2 times 2 plus 1. Alright? Multiply and add. 2 times 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, that would be your numerator and copy the denominator. Right? So, ito na yung magiging first fraction mo. Yung 5 over 2. 
Then, kopyahin mo yung one-third at mag-proceed ka dun sa step na ginawa natin kanina. Just multiply the numerators. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. And 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Right? Wala na silang common factor, kaya ito na ang ating final answer. Okay, let's have another example. I have here 4 and 1 third times 2 thirds. Ulitin lang natin yung ginawa natin kanina. I-change muna natin yung mixed number to improper fraction. We have 3 times 4 is equal to 12 plus 1 is 13. And just copy the denominator 3. Right? And multiply it by 2 thirds. 13 times 2. Okay, ilan ba yung dalawang 13? 26. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Alright. Kung mapapansin nyo, mas mataas na yung numerator kaysa sa denominator. Ang tawag sa fraction na ganito ay improper fraction. Okay, katulad din ito. Ang change natin yung mixed number to improper fraction. Ibig sabihin, mas mataas ang numerator kaysa sa denominator. Teacher, paano naman po ang gagawin kapag ganito na po yung nakuhang sagot? Okay? Hindi kasi ito tatanggapin ni teacher as your final answer. Kasi kailangan pa natin siyang isimplify. Okay? I-change natin yung improper fraction to mixed number. Ganito naman ang gagawin kapag gagawin natin siyang mixed number. I-divide mo lang yung numerator by the denominator. Okay? 26 divided by 9. Ilan ang makukuha nating 9 dun sa 26? Have 2. Okay? So, yung 2 na yun, yun ang whole number. Ilan ang remainder? Diba? 2 times 9 is equal to 18. I-minus mo yung 18 na yun dun sa 26 and that is equal to 8. Okay? Yung 8 na yun na remainder, yun ang magiging numerator at kopyahin nyo lang yung denominator na 9. Alright? Ganun lang kadali. Kapag ang nakuha ninyong sagot ay improper fraction, ito change nyo siya into mixed number. How? 26 divided by 9 or I-divide ninyo yung numerator by the denominator. Okay? Yung whole number na makukuha nyo, yun yung ilalagay nyo dito sa kaliwa. At kung may remainder, yun nang nasa ibabaw. And then just copy the denominator. Okay? So, 13 over 3 times 2 thirds is equal to 2 and 8 ninths. Or 2 and 8 over 9. Alright, itry naman natin itong next example. Mayroon ako ditong tatlong fractions. Teacher, kapag po tatlo na yung given, paano naman po ang gagawin? Katulad lang din nung kanina. Alright, imumultiply lang natin lahat ng numerators and imumultiply lang natin lahat ng denominator. So, paano yun? We have 1 times 1 times 2. Okay? And 3 times 2. 2 times 4. Right? Ganyan lang kadali. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Okay? So, yun yung magiging numerator natin. At ang magiging denominator natin ay yung product nung tatlong denominators. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Right? Hindi pa ito yung final answer kasi ba sabi ni teacher, hindi niya tatanggapin kung hindi nakaka-lowest term yung sagot natin. Okay? Ano ba ang greatest common factor ng 2 and 24? Again, sa case na to, factor ng 24 yung 2, kaya i-divide na natin parehas by 2. Alright? 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. So, the final answer is 1, 12 or 1 over 12. Alright, I hope natuto kayo sa aralin natin ngayong araw. Kung natuto, pakilike naman ang video na to and please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng tutorial videos ko. Thank you and stay healthy!